Hello, my beautiful people. How are you? So, let's talk ghosts. I know I made a video in the past before of past paranormal experiences I've had. Um, but I figure I pop on here and I make kind of an updated video of, um, you know, of stuff that's happened since I've been in Missouri. Um, if you know me, you know I'm originally from Long Island, New York. Uh, basically, Long Island has a bunch of paranormal stuff that's happened between the Revolutionary War to uh, Native American battles, so on and so forth. Um, so, born and raised from Long Island, I lived in DC for about a year, and then I lived in Hawaii for five years, and I've currently been in Missouri for the past two years, two and some change, and some stuff has happened. I feel like everywhere I've lived, uh, something has happened. I've had some sort of experiences, so figured this is my hauntings of Missouri experiences. So I know my background isn't spooky, but it's a beautiful day or beautiful evening and figured just hop in the back some nice greenery and tell some stories. So uh, yeah, um, I moved to Missouri back March of 2018 and um, I didn't know this, but I so let's back up a little bit. <laughs> So I'm not in St. Louis where there's stuff going on or in Joplin or Springfield or Kansas City. No place cool. I'm in, if you take the map of Missouri and you throw a dart smack dab in the middle, that's where I am. Um, I'm currently living in a military town, uh, but it's also, I live off of Route 66. And if you take a look at a map of where the Trail of Tears, the marching paths, you go right through the town I live in. So already you got a bunch of Native American past history stuff. Also where I used to live, uh, not used to live, used to work rather, um, there's, it used to be a uh, old hotel where mafia from Chicago would come down, cool their feet, and then go back up, um, which I didn't learn that until a few months before I got let go. But again, it'll, it'll sum up everything that I'm about to tell you. So moved back, moved here 2018. Um, I'm currently at my second residence since I've been out here. Um, my first one, I lived maybe five miles away from where I currently at, literally off the beaten fucking path. Um, that one, some weird stuff happened, like I would hear, like first I would think it's my daughter walking around, because I would hear like footsteps of a child walking up and down the hall thinking, okay, well it's my kid getting up to get water and go back to bed. Um, as time progressed, my daughter has come to me saying, Mommy, I've seen a little girl. Now, I'm one of those parents where I'm gonna believe my child if she says that she sees something because I've watched, I've watched enough, you know, paranormal shows to know that when a child says they see something and the parent can't see it, nine times out of 10, the child's right, there's something there. So, uh, you know, I would say, you know, where is she? And she would like point and I, you know, I'd sage my house, salt my property, say, you know, I'm sorry, little girl. Um, I'm not your parents. You can't, uh, you can't stay here anymore. I'm so sorry. You need to go find your parents someplace else. And I'm thinking it's, you know, I don't think it's anything bad, but I just think it's a lost spirit. So I've had to do that a few times. Um, whether she's on my property or my house, I don't know, but I'm like, hey, not here, sis, I'm sorry, you, you gotta go. Um, then where I work, like I said, it's, uh, it was an old hotel back in the 50s, um, and there's been some 
some weird stuff. It's mostly residual. You hear residual talking. We, there's been paranormal teams that have gone out there and gotten recordings. Um, but when I first, so it's called Uranus, Uranus, Missouri. Look it up. I promise it's there. Um, I used to work at a bar that was there called Chicken Bones. And, you know, in the bar, um, I've never really had any experiences. I mean, a few times I've had a creepy feeling, like when it's quiet and there wasn't really, you know, any, not many customers around. Um, but actually, that I lied. There's one experience I had. Um, so I was serving one night, very few people in the bar, and um, we were in the middle of cleaning up for the night, and it was me and the bartender. And I was cleaning, counting my money out for the night, and this bottle of steak sauce. I was sitting on one of the shelves where they had the liquor and he was fucking around with me. I was kidding around with him and all of a sudden this bottle of sauce, it wasn't near the edge, pretty far back, it just flies off the shelf and lands on the floor, shatters and breaks. And he's looking at me like, what the hell? I'm like, I couldn't have touched it. I'm all the way over here because there's a barrier and I couldn't jump over, throw the bottle, and then hop back. It just wasn't it wasn't possible. So I think that was the only real experience I've had when I worked at the bar. Um, fast forward to when I managed the escape room portion of the property. We used to have these, well we I say used to because we're no longer gonna be open. Um, but we had these cameras, so when people were in game, we would watch and see their progress and stuff. I've seen orbs, and I've seen enough orbs in my life to notice what's an orb and what's a dust particle. These were clear as day orbs. Um, you would see them whether there's a person in the room or there are people, you know, not there, not playing the game. So it didn't matter. There were always some sort of orbs there. Um, You'd always get like this weird feeling like behind you. So I'd be at my desk. Two of our rooms were behind the desk. So I'd always feel like I'd have someone back there watching me. It was creepy. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna let you do you. You let me, you let me do my thing. Um, but the most recent experience I had there, actually right before I got let go, um, I was in the middle of setting up one of the rooms, making sure things were working properly, and you know, it was just me. There was no one anywhere near my section of the property. And I hear behind me, clear as day, a male's voice. Don't ask me what he was saying, but I knew it was a man talking. I, again, I don't know if it was something, if it's something residual or if it's something intelligent, but I heard something. And I still remember because I just kind of froze a little bit. I'm like, did I really hear that? But I did. Um, to now where I currently live. <laughs> this house. Um, so again here, I don't know if, like I think this is mostly just residual stuff, just leftover energy on the property. Um, I've had a few times I've had to sage my house whether like energies and stuff um more specific i had well not even me my daughter had an experience where she's in bed she's waking me up a few times well a few nights in a row saying that she's seen a shadow so i get up and try to think you know maybe it's it's something like one of her books shelves or a toy or something that's giving off this weird shadow so you know, I go look, I'm like, where is it? And she's pointing, and I'm like, okay. If you see this thing again, say, no, you're not allowed to be here. I, you're not allowed to be in my room. My mom doesn't allow you to be here either. She said that it didn't work, or she got scared of something, she couldn't say it. So again, got up, wanted to come sleep in bed. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're going to take care of this right now. So got up. And I saged her room. I'm like, no longer allowed to be here. You need to leave her alone. You're scaring her. Whether you're intending to scare her or not, you just can't be here right now. I do not allow you to be here while 
were asleep. And my husband, right when I was getting up to go take care of Sage her room, he gets up behind me and sees what I'm doing. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm taking care of this. What's going on? He's like, I thought you were standing in our doorway, but then I saw you get up and walk through whatever, like whatever I saw. So <laughs> that's enough clarification for me that there was something or there is kind of still something. Like I'll hear things occasionally, like an extra footstep or I'll see a shadow. At this point, I have a rule. If it doesn't harm me, you're cool. If you start scaring me or my child or something or giving off a bad energy, I'm kicking you out. Like, you gotta go. That's my rule. But, yeah. Um, I know there's a few places in Missouri that have paranormal things or, you know, um, are known for their hauntings. Like, uh, Missouri State Penitentiary. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten a chance to go there yet. I would love to um, once they reopen and they can start letting tours in again. Um, I've been to the Lemp Mansion in St. Louis, Missouri. If anyone gets a chance to go out there, you definitely should. It's a beautiful place. Um, you can feel, I haven't had anything happen, but you can definitely feel that there's something there, that they, there's a heaviness to some of the rooms in there. Um, the Exorcist House in St. Louis. I didn't go in it. Um, all you gotta do is Google Real Exorcist House in St. Louis and they'll give you the address of the house. Um, we drove right by it and we kind of stopped in front and I took pictures. It's up on my Instagram if you guys want to see it. I've been there. Um, but you can tell just looking at the property. And again, I feel like it's but that place is mostly a residual haunt um, but there's something there that if you kind of poke at it the wrong way you'd get shit to start acting up again because you can feel it's on a block all these houses are beautifully done beautifully kept um, but you look at this house and you can tell like nature's trying to kind of break the house and bring it back into the earth like it's a place where no one should reside anymore but yeah um so there's a few cool places uh i would definitely love to go and do more stuff like that but unfortunately with all this covid19 stuff don't know what that can happen so that's my story or my experiences and i don't know figured Anyone else had any cool experiences or interesting things happen, definitely like, comment, comment here, message me on Instagram, and I loved, I absolutely love having paranormal conversations with people. Like, that's my topic, besides horror and cooking and witchy stuff and stuff like that, paranormal, number one. I can't get enough of it. I could share stories for days, but I'm going to stop here. <laughs> um, but yeah, tell me what you think. Thank you so much, guys. I'll talk to you soon.